Okay, number seven. Should abortion be a choice or a law? Kurt. Okay, first of all, let me just uh, explain something. The pro-life movement is is against abortion 100% of the time. No circumstances would they allow abortion. That means if the woman was raped, if if it threatens her life, if you know, again, there is no there is no circumstances for abortions to be allowed under pro-life, pro-choice, Does, doesn't mean it's, you know, willy-nilly that you can have abortions whenever you feel like it. Um, it's giving the option, if the woman's life is threatened, if she was raped, uh, she shouldn't have to endure nine months of torture, and it should be a law and remain a law. Okay, go ahead, Wade. Yeah, uh, kind of, kind of similar things. Like says, you know, if a woman is raped, you know, what, what, you know, what, how does that all work? You know, how is that going to affect the the woman and uh, the maternal health at the mother? How the mother, you know, if it affects, it's going to affect the mother's life. Um, I saw a site world world o info that had amazing statistics and it was much more than I could ever imagine. Uh, so. Tough subject. Either way, it's tough. Either way, you go. Okay. Um. I would say that most of the time, since I am mainly pro-life, that abortion uh, shouldn't be allowed. But like Kurt and Lee said, if it's a rape yeah, or it could threaten the woman's life, it should be a choice. So that's him. Zach says, no, taking, an in taking of an innocent, unwanted life should be a choice. Being medically necessary is not a choice, so no. Profilers do not hold that 100% of the time. All too often, medically necessary gets confused with elective. States should have some rights beyond the federal government, or does federal law trump all state laws? Kurt? That's a question. Um, it really depends on, on the circumstances. The states, you know, handle the, the affairs of the state and not the federal government and vice versa. Um, you know, we got in trouble with the, the Civil War when maybe the states got a little too much power and they decided to cede from the nation or the union and so I think the, the federal government should trump the states in most circumstances, not necessarily all of them Wait uh, I probably still should probably still have uh, state laws for certain things even though um I play poker a little bit, and state laws in certain states don't allow certain poker sites to allow certain players to play on them. Poker should be legal. I mean, poker should be legal everywhere, by the way. Okay, my, like what both you said, uh, mainly I think federal should overtake most state laws. But for smaller things, I think state should be able to decide. But mainly, uh, the 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 uh, country government should make most of the decisions. Uh, so. Where's X thing? Oh, there. States do have rights beyond the federal government. Least we forget the U.S. Constitution. It is up to states as to how many rights they want to surrender to the federal government when they seek various forms of funding. The best way is to give rights back to the states, is to, the, to give responsibility back to the states. Of course, these laws are subject to federal ju judicial review of fairness and constitutionability. Okay, 
All right, thank you. Uh, Devon18, can you undock, please? I undocked him. Thanks. Okay. Um, okay. Number nine. Do you believe in a universal health care system? And if so, do you believe people should be forced to pay into the program even if they don't want to take part in it? Um, well, the definition of a universal health care system would mean that it's uh, available to everyone. Um, gosh, I'm not, the more I hear about it, the less I'm in favor of it. I really think we should set up some sort of privatized uh, health funds in a way people can elect to fund it and then I get services for that. If, of course, you wish to get services somewhere else, then you can. But, yeah, I, I think I'm against universal health care. Yeah, it's uh, tough both ways. There's pros and cons for both of them. But uh, you like to every you like to see everybody have some kind of health care, but is that a, you know really a reality to a certain point? And uh, also asking, you know, should you know people be forced to pay? Nobody should be forced to pay anything, including taxes. That will pay. You know, but yeah, you, you have to pay taxes. But that's three questions back in. Um, uh, no. Zach, then. Well, the question did ask for a one word answer. And, like, of course, you say yes. Uh, yeah, exactly. Forcing people to say health care or anything always ends up in meaning higher prices for everyone involved. Instead of universal health care, the best way to reform it is to demandatize employee employers paying for it. Trying health care to the res, to the employer's results on the employee. Being want, being more dependent on the employer and making it expensive. Give it give it the people to discern discern prices and better details. Deal deals. Thanks. Um, uh, much can you please undock? I'll, I'll I'll unduck them. Alright, that works. Alright, thank you. Um alright. Up to number ten. If a marriage were legalized, do you believe that religious figures should be forced to perform the ceremony? Um, no. I mean you don't need to have religious figures doing marriages right now. You can have justice of the peace or judges conduct these marriages. Uh, so, no, nobody should be forced to do something they uh, personally or morally disagree with. When? I hope this is more than a one word answer, because I'm going to get more than a one word answer. Uh, no. <laughs> All right. Um, I would, first of all, I would say that um, I. I don't accept the fact that it, it would be legalized because if I was to be president, I would I would make it a federal law to have it not be legalized uh, for it to be illegal. Um, but if it were, I would say no. Uh, go ahead, Zach. No, they should not. Doing so would not only violate the principles but could be argued the government is in tanging in religion, says Zach. Thank you. All right, on to number 11. Do you believe government should... No, sorry. Do you believe government should be allowed to decide that certain foods are too unhealthy for us due to fat or calories and so can ban them uh, from us? for our own protection.